and welcome to Remember When with Dion Doherty, a podcast where I, Dion Doherty, ask my guests to remember when something happened in pop culture history that they'd like to share with us today. Um, if you're after a really fun adult only Christmas night out, you can go to the Grand Opera House website, goh.co.uk and get tickets to see Home Alone, which is a adult comedy myself and my husband, Sean Haggerty, have written. The first three weeks, I think, are sold out. The last week has tickets available between Christmas and the New Year. And if you caught my video on Instagram, the real buzz from Home Alone, yeah, Home Alone, the original movie, sent us a video saying it was the best, it's going to be the best night in Belfast. Did we pay him? Yes. Does it matter? I don't think so. (laughs) Probably. Yeah. We did pay him on Cameo. Um, He's £150, in case anybody wants to. Higher balls to say Merry Christmas to somebody. I don't know. Um, so uk if you want a real good Christmas night out. Speaking of Christmas, I have Belfast's Mariah Carey, Michael Bublé, Coca-Cola ad in real life. When you when you see this guy in a dress, you know it's Christmas. Uh, I'd like to welcome to a podcast the genius behind May McFatridge. Of course, it's John Lennon. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. The genius. Near the eye, but I was being generous. Oh, lovely. If you see this man in the dress, you know it's Christmas. Do you have to, do you not think I work the rest of the year? <laughs> yeah, I, I work eight weeks of the year, just two weeks rehearsal, and then there we go. Wouldn't do that this. be the dream, though? Oh, but grand, if you were getting enough money. I'm sure you are. You could probably sit in your hip. That's but you're just a workhorse, probably. My, sit in my hip. Well, <laughs> that's a that's a brand. I see the year we were out with COVID. Aye. Um, I was on stage in the upper house with um, the now king of England, uh-huh. and he was saying to me, "Did you miss the year that you were out?" And I was dressed as the old doll, you know. Yeah. And uh, all the the the, the regalia on for. The fairy godmother. Yeah. And um, did you miss the year of COVID? I says, I did. I said, but really, my, my wife missed it more. He says, your wife? I says, yeah, yeah, because I was in the house every day. Yeah. Whereas, you know, you'd have been out of the house eight weeks, you know. Yeah. You're coming in at night. Uh, good night, love. You get up in the morning. Good morning, love, Julio. And that's, that's, way, and that's what she got used to. And she was yeah. quite happy at that. She loves Christmas because of that. That's I her favourite time of year. Does. Yeah. And when we stop with COVID, she says, is there nothing else you can do? Is there, is there, is there, can you not go over to the Fort William Club? I said, love, everywhere's closed. She said, does none of your friends want you in for a drink? You know, just... just. <laughs> and I went, I, I, I think it was harder and harder than it was in me. And uh, the prince, or the end prince Charles, he, he laughed. And he, as he was walking away, he came back to me and says, by the way, does your wife wear men's clothes oh, at the weekend? Good. He says, so you know Brenda, do you? And he just <laughs> I can't believe he asked that. He did, I. Cheeky, Cheeky shite. Aye. <laughs> Love's blind. Love's blind. Love is blind. Love is blind. Oh, I'm sorry. actually watching a TV show called Love is Blind at the minute. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's a ridiculous concept. I don't like to watch crap TV, but I do watch this shit show called Love is Blind. No, there's the, the worst shit show. Love at first sight. Aye, it's like that. What's it? You know, all these seven... Australian come over, meet your bride for the first time, and she's they're out, and their sisters will have them out for a dress. I don't look at this. It's just as you're in the house. Aye. I say to Brenda, "Well, she looks. Oh, she loves all that. You know the Aye. utter shade. All the, you know. the is it mostly the wedding stuff, or is it the oh, no, reality? Oh, reality. All Aye. that stuff. Love Island, and she watches all that. Uh, every all of it. I go to my, I, my God, take me safe. I'm not working. Yeah. I'll be in bed at half seven at night. Right. What time do you get up? I get up at maybe six, half six. Oh, well, then that's fair enough. But that's, yeah, you sleep like a baby then. Would you pardon? You sleep like baby hours, like a a wee toddler. I would sure I'm a young fella. (laughs) Anyway, but then I would watch a movie, maybe something film four or something, and uh, then just knock it off and... I'll get, I'll get a good, like, eight, nine, ten hours. You're watching, like, some really intense movie and Brenda's downstairs watching 20-year-olds she, uh, fight over fake tan. Uh, that's what's that's happening a, in your house. I'm that's three exactly. Floors. Uh, three floors. She <laughs> lives, she, the opera I, house I, pays I, well. I, I sleep in the west wing. <laughs> 
I love that. <laughs> so when you um when you started with May mm-hmm. specifically, what I would like to know is where did you get May's first outfit from? My mother in law. You May. raided her wardrobe? May. Oh yes, she's called May. Hey. That's right. God rest her, yeah. Yeah. I remember Eamon Holmes's Brenda's first cousin, That's you right. know, so and so Brenda's ma and Eamon's ma were sisters. Right? Ah. Actually, we could have done with them this year. We're doing Cinderella. Oh, right. So, anyway. Um, Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ju- yeah, I had to say, poor Josie. Now, she's. <laughs> J- Eamon's mother, God rest, oh, God rest, God forgive me, she's in the hospital now. 94 years of age. Wow. And she says, she says God's do- God doesn't want me and the devil's afraid of me. Oh, Jesus. So, she's stuck. Um, so Eamon asked me where I go on the radio. And I was right. a motor mechanic. What's all that about? Everybody knows the story, you know. Yeah. So I went into my house that morning and I didn't know what to call myself. And you, he, he said, be a character, be anything you want, you know, just slag me off, you know, about North Belfast, blah, blah. So I went on and uh, I said, hello. And he says, hello, who's this? It's me, son. And uh, who's me? May, and I didn't think we were going to get into second names, just it's May. Oh, hello, May, I'm already living North blah, 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 blah. Then we'll get in. And May, my mother in law, mm. and Josie, him and mom, were in the working kitchen, or the scullery, as we call it. They were in the scullery at the back of the house, back of my house. Oh, they were like there yeah. listening? Aye, listening. Oh, right. And I could hear them, <laughs> my name and all. Oh. All Fez. <laughs> oh, they're all Fez. My name's getting left right my name's I know. Fez. I know. And that's just the way it started, you know. And, um, and so, but you wouldn't have, so that was on the radio. So I doubt you got hey. dressed up for the radio when you are outfit or did you? Oh, take a redner, will you? <laughs> <laughs> did, you get dre- did you get dressed up for the radio? <laughs> Stranger <laughs> things have happened. I know, I tell you. <laughs> You're here, aren't we? Um, no, no, the first time I had to get dressed up, what was that for? So yeah. you obviously at some stage were invited to perform. Uh, yeah, to get a photograph oh, for the Irish right. News. Right. Yeah. So how to get the like, oh, should have got a pet and fit together? Oh, yeah. And Brenda's mummy said, here, that should fit you. I said, that's grand. I'll, I'll take it in a bit. <laughs> I want to see her face. Oh, <laughs> not a happy woman. <laughs> we'll take it in a bit. A brave bit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's, yeah, that's where it came from. And uh, then we're going to see my own mummy. And, and does the, does the Brenda friend. have sisters? Yeah. So well, one has died, God rest, Marling. So were there other other son-in-laws that you may had? May, so other was you, son-in-laws? Do you look, was there other... Was there, yeah. What I'm asking is, did she have other relatives that also took her clothes? Or was no, it just no, you? no, I don't think it was, I think it was just me. What are you saying? What are you I don't doing? know, I'm just trying to, get a, twisted. trying to get an idea of what's happening behind closed doors. <laughs> oh, <Angel>. did I? <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Well, any stuff I have, I just give it to them. They were... <laughs> Yeah, balloon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you obviously then put together, curated an outfit. Yeah. And that yeah, became think the, I, the May look. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's great, you know, because somebody showed me a wee Halloween, uh, a photograph at Halloween about a party in Derry. And yeah. And this kid dressed up as me. Isn't that amazing? I'm sure I, many people have dressed I can't up as go me. That, but you'd have thought, a wee kid now. You'd yeah. have thought at, at the start of it, you know, when. May was sort of on the radio every day and she was the, the top yeah. of the place and blah, blah. But then you still see them now, don't you? But it? then you think about how many people come see the Opera House Panto every year? Yeah, well, it, uh, you know... It's like tens of... Well, uh, when I started, when I started going with the first ones, I did with Jimmy Cricket and yeah. Dan and the ones I got, you know, you know, we got maybe 60%, 65% because the troubles were still going there, yeah. you know. But, uh, you know, the last couple of years, when 90 Excuse me, 94, 95 percent, you know, which is great. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, my show recently was in the Opera House and it had 93 percent. Seriously? Yeah, we week. were 94. But I mean, you're on there for, oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> you're also on there weeks, for about yeah. six months. Six and two-thirds week or two-fifths. Aye, two all right. Mind it again. <laughs> so you're there this Christmas? No, I am. So we, Sean and I, so my husband um, and I have written... The adult Christmas show that's going oh. on to the wee studio. Oh, yes. Right. Yes. So oh, we'll yeah. be on at the same time as you. Oh, well, that's great. I'll not be in there. I'll, I'm just producing it. and oh, right. That's why I'm not, not going to be in it. Hmm. No. Because no, I've got the blame game great. at the well, same time, so oh, yes, I can't do it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but So we've we've got other actors that'll do it there that are brilliant. Like, But um, 
so obviously, like that's, that's enough about you. Back to me. Enough back to you. Um, <laughs> was that enough about me, Jack? I think so. I think so. I think for you, thirty seconds, forty seconds. More I than talk enough. about me every week on this. That's oh, all right. Hello, here's my head. <laughs> here's my head. My arse was there in a minute. <laughs> but you know, like with people dressing up as you for Christmas and st- or for Halloween, <coughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, there's bound to be like how many people see the panto every year? Sixty, th- seven, oh, hundred. Se- yeah, it'd be a thousand? Se- seventy, seventy-three thousand, yeah. and like. So for people who like that's some, some people's one night out to the theatre a year. Oh, I could well believe it because there's you know parents who are taking their kids and and they go and, every single year. So yeah, those kids but, know you. But you see some you know, and I've talked to some guys, a, a, a friend of mine, and he says, John, I have grandkids now, and he says, um, I decided to take them to the panto. This is about four years ago. Mm. He says, I decided to take him to the panto. And he says, and they wanted me to go along. He says, and I went along. He says, I never stopped laughing. I didn't believe that panto was like that. Oh. You know, he says, I couldn't believe that there's parts for the kids. And then the thing for the adults was way over the kids' heads. So Which is perfect. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. And he, he says, the first thing I did when I walked out of the, the, the opera, he says, bought my tickets for next year. And he's been doing that for the last four years. See, that's the thing. I think when people are open to a new one, yeah. like it's, it's like whenever I, if I ever convince friends to go to a comedy club here, yeah, indeed, and or even family members, and then they leave going, "Oh my god, that was a brilliant night! Yeah. I can't believe I got to see five yeah. comedians yeah. for a tenner or something." You know, when you're like, "Well, that's they're used to spend sixty quid on a ticket to go see that's right. a big yeah. comedian," and you're like, "Well, uh, there's uh, loads yeah, on your the doors then." Uh, no, they don't have the same. They usually don't come back. <laughs> they usually like, "I'm gonna go loads," and yeah. then it's not something that actually happens. Oh, well, ours do come back. Mm. So, uh, so you've got ninety four percent, and I've got ninety three. You said it. That's the numbers. <laughs> uh, and the wee hole too. And the wee room too. No, I did the big room in my show. Yeah, well, Cheeky wee, bitch. You never let who? <laughs> I did the big room. You do, you do loads of weddings. So you do work, work all year round. Obviously, you're a yeah. workhorse. Um, you do loads of weddings. Yeah. Don't you? Okay. I, do you know the amount of people I know that you've done their wedding? Mm-hmm. Ruined their wedding, I think they said. Ruined their wedding. Oh, well, that's, that's what you're there for. That's what you're there the, for. The groom will go, look, John. There's an extra. Slag this Jesus, part. Her ma, right? Is it her ma, her da, yeah. miserable old bollocks. Yeah. Get him and get and see the best man, you know, get in and be a wee bit of a dick and blah, blah. You know, yeah. Great. But you know what? I'm, I remember seeing, um, what do you call the guy? He produces or presents a show from South of Ireland, but he's an England night. It's a beard, what do you call my see me for names? Hmm. What is it? Daryl Brain? No, 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 no. Oh, he's uh, a TV presenter? He's a TV presenter. He does um, your, um, your vision and all. Oh. Aye. Graham Norton. Graham Norton. Norton. Aye. But Graham Norton, the way he gets the people on, right, get on to the, the, the big chair. Yes. And that's the big, you know, the lever. Yeah, and you go fly Whoa. back to the red chair. Aye. What's this guy on? I, I keep telling people, I, I, I saw this, and this guy, and he was from the south of Ireland. He was at a wedding in the south of Ireland. And he, he uh, the best man got up, or not the best man, the groom got up. He says, hope you all have a great day. And uh, I know for a fact that there's eight fellas here today who have slept with my wife since I got engaged to her. So enjoy the rest of the day. Her father, thank you for the, the big spread and all. That's me, I'm gone. The papers will be in. And he left and, and Graham Norton went, what? And I think it was maybe in Donegal or West, West of Ireland or somewhere. And all the people, and those Americans going, oh my God, Jesus Christ, what the hell? And apparently this, you know, and I, I've, said, I've watched this and I say to people, did you not see it? Did you? Not? But then maybe they're like me, you only just got a chance to see it on a Friday or Saturday night. You know? But uh, I thought that was brilliant. So what a hold thing on. to do. Was it a joke? No. <gasps> he got up and walked out. That's it. It wasn't a joke. Oh my God! Jesus Christ! Imagine. Uh, I thought he was uh, joking. He was going to come back uh, and go. No, get I'm only joking. Thing. You know, I use the bastards. Hey! Uh, I get into bed with her since he got here. Eight her. people. Eight. Was it a long engagement? I don't know. It was about a fortnight. 
<laughs> or they were from Donegal then. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus wept. She was fond of it, wasn't she? Christ in a bite. Christ in a bite. Here. I could, I ate, you be uh, knackered as it is, organising a wedding. Yeah, Jesus, right. Mary and St. Hey, Joseph. Fellas. And the baby donkey. What, he was, what, was, what was she like? What, what a way. She? What a way. Dave Jesus fucking Christ. embarrass her though. Seymour Cox, the foul dealer. What the Jesus? <laughs> that, about? that was his name too, Seymour Cox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I came from Craig Evans. <laughs> <laughs> she be cheeky about Craig Evans. Here, that's wild though. Like, I've, have you ever been, like you've done millions of weddings, I'm sure yeah. a lot of weddings. Have you ever been to one and something shocking happens where you're like, this is like awkward. Like, do you know what, if you see like a, an argument brewing Amongst the, the best men, like the best man, the groomsmen, or you see the mother of the bride no, raging. I, never, I went to one and um, I was called off at the very end, you know. Someone had died at the wedding, you know. and uh, Jesus. Mm, so, so the entertainment uh, was... Oh, the entertainment yeah. was off. Yeah. But maybe they've seen me act before. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let on your head. Do you know who died? <laughs> John <laughs> on stage. Oh, millions <laughs> of times. Mill- uh, John's acting. Have you ever died on stage? Oh, I have. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever do because oh, um, I've seen you do stand up as well I've, yeah. I've watched you in the opera house as well as, as yourself as John mm. um, what do you prefer so you can get away with murder, murder. with the outlaw yeah. you know what I mean I've seen you know there's times I've you know, said some of the, the women as the outlaw you'd get a punch ah, that, and the husband going ha 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 say that as a fella you up the deck he'd drop you <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean can't do that. But what a great mechanism to have created a character well, well, you can well, say. Uh, who, who would say? Who would say? What What do you do to a wee woman? Do you hit a wee woman? You've been the talk of the country. I know, but it's so funny yeah, because you're not a wee I woman, it's what, you. But it's people go, hey, you may, and I love her. And I'm walking down the street and I'm through town. Hey, you may. Uh, oh, is yourself? Oh, ah, uh, you're, uh, of course. She said, I said, nobody know me. Hey, you may. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you 14 times. I see the amount of people I get now. You've done my wedding, yeah. right? And you're doing my son's wedding in th- two months wow. later. Wow. I go, what age am I? Jesus uh, Christ, how long have I been doing No, this? but they could be from Craig Avon and he's like 13. Aye, aye. That's what's happened. 100% <laughs> yeah. 13. And this is the, the expecting a third child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I had my first child, when I was, my only child, when I was like 31. And I obviously live in Craig Avon. And I was older, Sean. I feel like I'm, I should be now a grandparent. Like oh, sure. The, your child's 23. Yeah. Well, no, she's one. She's one? Yeah, she's one. That's what I'm saying. I only had my No, first. I thought you, you only had one and he was 20. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm looking at you. I'm nine. looking at the lanes. <laughs> the old high, high yeah, I'm color. hiding the old rectals. <laughs> Can't hide that. Have you ever given Mae McFetridge a backstory? Do you know, like, as an actor, you're like, this is her job. This is who she's married to. This is who... No, well, she worked in Gallagher. She, she was a stripper. I didn't know Stripped that. Stripped tobacco off the right. leaves, you know. And uh, like Patricia, she was a packer. Josie was a packer. And uh, Mae was a stripper. Right. That's her three, her three, her and her two mates. Her, her best mates. Aye. And did May ever settle down? Well, she was she was married once, right? That end badly. The he, bastard uh, he, couldn't handle the stripping. He, he ran away. He ran away with a wee young thing from Liverpool. Was it because May slept with she, eight people and no, run up she, to the wedding? She was fifty-eight. The one he ran away with. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I just I had May Willie. You, you've seen May Willie. May Willie. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, you know, this is the way I go with people. You no, know, maybe some priest or some some reverend <laughs> yeah. you know, invited to the wedding. Or oh, my my, my Willie, Father, you've seen my Willie, haven't you? Yeah, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. <laughs> and, just, uh, and then you go in. No, before the the shock, go go. What, what he said? He lives in Glen Gormley, doesn't he? You've seen him. I yeah, as yeah. We twins, all the two wee twins. <laughs> just in Kelly, yeah. we named them after a couple of neighbours. Just you know, all that shape, you know. Yeah. Great. That's but brilliant. The, 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 the love it, you know. Yeah. And do you <clears throat> think you'll, like, how many more years left of Panto are you going to do? One and a half. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, listen, see if I can get my back sorted and my knees sorted. Yeah. You know, but you can stop the clock. You can't stop time. You know, you, you can feel like you're 35 and you remember football matches you played in, you know. But the rest of your body's the age it is. You know, but do you not think it's stuff? Like, this is going to sound really passive aggressive, but it's not. But like, creatives can't really retire. Enough. I know. So, yeah, when are you going to stop the agony? Yeah, 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 yeah. When are you going to give me and every other? You know, people say to me, "What are we going to do when you leave? What are we going to do?" It's just be different. 
just be full of enjoyment, but it'll be great and it'll be just different. That's all. Do, is there somebody you think? But there, who like would you even pass the baton to? I will. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. You wouldn't be, have anything to do with it. Oh, absolutely not. You know. You, you know. Even you know, saying about people, oh, he's good or she's good. You know. Yeah. Aunt she be great, and I would never ever. Just in case it just backfires on you. Yeah. Or they've come in one day full or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from the blank the stage. I hate this. Oh, the place full of, you know, 950 kids or something. Aye, aye. The teachers with them. <laughs> what about Paddy Jenkins? What's he like in a dress? Uh, Chinky could step in. Paddy, I've seen Paddy in a dress. Is, it, is an ugly, I think. Oh, did he do the, one of the ugly sisters one year? Did he do an ugly? I think him. <laughs> an ugly? Him and Keir Nolan, I think. Did they do the... Did Keir Nolan, mm. was not Keir Nolan and Kerry Quinn? No, no. no? Kerry Quinn, I haven't worked with Kerry. I know she's been in my, her, her and my daughter, Kerry, Aye. went to school together and were in our, my house a million, million times. Right. And I used to play football with her dad. Right, okay. You know, there's a pack of football again. Because so. then, so, um, so what my show that I just finished there, the 93%, thanks very much, um, was called Bridesmaids of Northern Ireland. And Jane, Jane Weisner was on that. We were in the Opera House. Jane, I but thought, you've worked with I Jane. I love Jack. She and I love. She did two panties with me, maybe yeah. three. I think she said she'd done three. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. But she, she was saying it's girl. funny because she was like the princess rules, you mm-hmm. know, because she's gorgeous and she can sing beautifully and she's uh-huh. got all that going on. But she's doing the, uh, she's doing the Mac panto this year she? and she's the fairy godmother and she was saying to me, oh, I've like... I'm now in that different age bracket where I'm not the princess no, anymore. Indeed. I'm now that... I'm, I've now gotten older. Well, I could have so told her I'm, that the last panto. <laughs> Are you, no. You're dragging this out no, now. You, could you pull that? <laughs> Bit of pull that egg on. Uh, do it day on it. Or just go run it all up. <laughs> Maybe you take that up. Hide your turkey neck. <laughs> my 600 pound sister. No, my, 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 my one's watch that 600 pound family. No. No, you never watch it. These Is that big Americans. Wait. 600 pound weight. These ones go in, they take everything off and everything. Oh, that's the uh, ground. Stop. I never seen that. I blow my groceries up. No, you, that sounds like shade your wife would watch. But Shit, that's it. That's <laughs> what I'm telling you. Her and my daughter, 600 pound and the, the, 12, the 1200 pound family. The ma and the daughter, both 600 pound apiece. And they're going, I don't know how, well, I try, I really won't. <laughs> and they're getting these bops, Jesus, Mary and Joseph, about 15 inches long, full of chicken, full of it. <laughs> but I just get depressed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesus, what are they talking about? Do you know, I remember Sean saying to me, he used to work with somebody as well, who, you know, used to, like, say, whenever they were on their diet, they used to eat the wee mini like bars of chocolate, like the wee mini Milky Ways, but then eat like eight of them. Like, like, like you 25 well. of them, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're tiny. Still, uh, that's right, they're really stuck a little head on you. Stone and a half of them down your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Clark. Um, so after Christmas, do you just be bollocksed? You've been bollocks before I started. Aye. Because um, you used to do a couple of shows a I day. I see that, yeah, two a day, six days a week. But And then they give you a Monday off. You, know, you meet all your mates on a Monday. Aye. Not even the hairdressers are on. Fuck's sake. Can you get your hair cut? Can you get your hair cut? <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, you know, it's um, it's so tiring. And now, this is my wife telling me something. I, she might not like this. But anyway, she's let her passport run out. What do you mean? Oh, she's not bought a new one? Well, no. And she hasn't renewed it and every, every year. Well, for the last couple of years, we used to go away for... Two weeks to the Canaries after. After Panto? I just chill out and Aye. rest and uh, got my passport run out. She not, she not want to go to the Canaries with you this year? Well, she's not got her passport. Maybe you yeah. could just go solo. Well, I do go with the boys for four days, you know, just golfing when we're uh, in sort of March and uh, I'm just back there a couple of weeks back. But my back was sore. I could only play nine holes one of the days. It was a nightmare. But... You know, but you like to go away with your wife and go out for nice meals and with one person as opposed to nine other fellas. I don't think she feels the same. Aye. She's not got... And also, apparently it's quite easy to get a passport. The moment they've just dished out a million passports for the first time this year. I, Irish passports, Aye. though. Oh, that's... No, no, that's a, you're all Irish passports. I mean, she was, she's she could get it easily enough. I 
Attention, there goes I see John Finnegan. <laughs> I get this thing up and running. Get and maybe on. I just take a photograph from when she's sleeping. <laughs> she sleeps? <laughs> but then I'd have to go into the east wing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prod her eyes open my matchsticks. <laughs> oh no, they're like that. Well, she seems seems to have one eye open. So I goes, I think Does she's she? In, I think she's in India. There's one eye open. You know, that's my grandson, Johnny. Yeah. But she's not looking at anything with that eye, is she? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not looking at her that long. God, she's going to kill me if she's this goes out. She's going to kill you. No, it is going to go out. <laughs> oh, Sorry, Brenda. Bren, no. Money went you up, love. You know I love you. Brenda, get your passport. So John can go on his oh, big holidays. Uh, Jesus, me and Joseph love. Don't want to go to Canaries for two weeks, me own. I spent Christmas in... The, in Grand Canary and no, Tenerife in the Canary Islands one year weird like uh, actual Christmas day go down onto the beach and went down onto the beach and had dinner oh, and oh, oh. it wasn't warm but it wasn't cold and there was no Christmas atmosphere it wasn't warm it wasn't warm it wasn't hot warm. <laughs> it wasn't hot the weather wasn't so hot no, no. it wasn't warm. hot enough to sunbathe and it wasn't cold enough for a coat no. uh, indeed so then it didn't feel like Christmas. Do you know what no, I mean? I couldn't go away at Christmas. Well, you're you know. working. You're working, that's yeah, well, why. absolutely. Well, maybe, no, yeah, I'd like to be home at Christmas. You wanted to be... Grandkids and yeah, yeah. Brother, and all the family, you know. Yeah. Well, so, I went away with my parents, like, but we went whenever we were 18, so it was already quite uncool to be going with your parents when you yeah, were 18. Yeah, I did. My parents never... Well, we had nothing. I was going to say, where did you... Did you holiday locally yeah. growing no, up? No, we used to holiday. We used to go down to County Cork. My father was a Cork man. Was he? He came from between Boharui and Kishkeem. Fucking no idea what you just said. He came from between Boharui and Kishkeem. Town I was knocking a car. Have you forgotten your tablets? Are you with me? Roof my cock and roll. That's a great accent. It's a cock accent. Cork! Cock! Cock! I remember my friend meeting this guy whenever we were on a night out, whenever we were like 20. And she she brought him home back to our house and he had one shoe and no teeth and he was from Cork. <laughs> one shoe and no teeth? Was it, did he it go, was one did, tooth and no, no shoes. No. <laughs> did he go out like that? I that, that. That's why he came <laughs> home anyway. <laughs> and one shoe and no teeth. And he was from Cork. He was from all, Cork. Do you know what? I think he might have had one tooth because I remember thinking that he could pierce it with, he could pierce a can of beer with it. Uh, or, do you know <laughs> this is this party piece you know, like so many people what's your party piece uh, sing the caracol there or Belfast you know, I, I can open a can of coke well, one that was no without touching it <laughs> and with no shoes on <laughs> uh, kind of, you can see me t- I can twinkle my no, twinkle my, t- no, t- <laughs> my toes put the two no, the two feet <laughs> the two feet up the table. Um, no, wait, no, then he can lift the car with his feet. Oh, his foot. Drink. <laughs> well, you only want foot. Oh, you only want you. Had he two? Yeah, two more I made him up. No, 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 he was. He was there. He must have been crack, wasn't he? I don't, I don't think I could understand a thing he was saying. No. Really thick. And a cork accent. I was going to say really thick, but I needed to finish the sentence. Cork accent. Really strong cork accent. Yeah. One tooth, no teeth. No, one tooth, no oh, shoes. Yeah. Just me really smuggle that when you're finished with <laughs> Do you have a party piece outside of me? Is there I, what I, is it? I was singing a wee song. What do you sing? Sing, um... Do you speak Irish? Am I right in thinking you speak Irish? Where do you hear this? Right? Right. Is it good? Some of them are like... Some of them listening to this were like that. <clears throat> Last year, just before Christmas, I was in... I was contracted to do the UUP dinner. Right. Was the one that Doug Beatty was elected. Yes. The main yes, man. Yes. Were 500 of them up in... Mm. Crown Plaza. So I'm the special guest. I don't know why everybody... Was it half of them for them to know who it was? I put your hands together for Ms. May McFedridge. <coughs> and I come out and I says, um, Falcher goes to Austin at Crown Plaza, but first year <sighs> is Smisha Sean O'Gullina Hall. And if you may, Ruggie goes to go to Scott Bell first year. August and Nish, Tommy McGahoney, Bo Horentum, to Scott Bell first year. Nothing. I'm not around either. What's the date? <laughs> she says, oh, fuck, I'm sorry. It was for the Shinners next <laughs> day. Interrupted. It just started it perfectly and it was brilliant. Knock, knock, will Gilga sucking? 
It looks good. Mac will get like a sucking. Did they not have any, didn't that speak Irish? Who? Hey, the the UU peers? <laughs> no. They just put the kamogi onto their, you know, the, I don't know, the wee brochure that they have. Yeah. And, you know, we're in here for everybody and there was kamogos that play yeah. on them. Aye. But, um, no, if you may rock it, no, well, um, Rocky May. Uh, Tommy Fulham. Oh, very good. Yeah. I have a bit of Irish. Like, I've done a few movies in Irish. Mm. Oh, very good. Um, but I, like, learned the script. Like, my brother's an Irish Aye. speaker. I, I did Irish in school. I have Aye. a grasp of it. Yeah. I know I can speak it a bit, but uh, I tend to, like, if somebody asks me to, like, do a, a job mm. and it's in Irish, I tend to just go, hi, oh, yeah, my Irish is great. And then Aye. I just, like, learn the I script. know, indeed. I, 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 would, I would be like that. Yeah, I'd be at that stage, you know, if you got the script and you, you can learn you, the script, you could, you could learn the script. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but like when people come up, you know, uh, ah, Jim or Ta, come on, come on, and that's where yeah, it ends you know, there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but what you could you have rent to a rare? You know what you do yeah. last night? Oh, blah blah. We stuff like that, you know. You'll yeah. go on, but then. You know, Someone's like asking about climate uh, change. Like, and, we're going to have to switch uh, back to English here. Uh, two, and two, even then. Uh, two thirds of fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even then. <coughs> Do you speak any other languages? Just a wee bit of French, a wee bit of French, and just wee bits of Spanish. You, you can go in and order your drink and stuff like that. Aye, get a wee therbetha. Yeah, uh, always a. Uh, uh, dos therbetha? Dos? No, dos. Therbetha? Hara. Hara. What's that? That's a big pint of pint. Oh, that's, that's the, is that the name of the beer? No. Oh. No, just it's a pint a of beer. A big pint. They do dust of vetha. That's beer as well, but yeah. They you know they somebody come into the bar and says, "Give us a pint." You know, you don't yes. wish Guinness, you know, if anyone. That's more colloquial. Yeah. Right. Whenever I was in Edinburgh, a couple of years ago during the French festival, they have these things called two pint steins. Yeah. Are they like a Dutch or a German thing? Yeah, it's basically right. two pints in one big... Uh, a bucket. Ah, in a bucket, basically, right? Uh, need a hand to lift it. Yeah. Uh, see, that fell yeah, from court. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't give it a foot here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I ordered that and say it was a fiver for the two pints down, right? Okay. And, but a pint was... Um, Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe which one it would have been... We'll be back to here shortly. Here. <laughs> Do you know what it was? I think it was... Two pints. Oh, I. That's what it was. A pint was three pound, and the two pints team was five favorite. pounds. So it was better value to get the big yeah. pint. But I had said to the girl, "Yeah, but I, I'm. It's not a big pint. I, I'm it's not a quart. A quart. Well, a half. No. <laughs> half a half a pint. It's better to buy half a pint than a pint. No, it's better to buy one pint than this two. It's better to buy this two pint steam than one yeah. pint. Fuck my life. I, my maths. Quart. Is, Jesus Christ. What school did you go to? None. When did you leave? <laughs> well, Catholic nuns? Well, none. No, no, none the night, none the morning. So anyway, it was a fiver to buy this big two pint thing yeah. and it was three pound to buy the actual pint. But I had said to the girl, me and my husband just want one pint each, but I would like to buy the the big the, one because it'll save Very me a pound. And then can you just give me a second glass? And she was like, I can't do that because I know you want two pints. That'll be six pound. And I says, no, but... But if I just buy the two pints thing, can you not just Why hand not me just a buy, cup? Buy two pints. Because then we're pints. Because we we weren't really drinking. We were only having one. Because I think one of us was like working after or something. And you're from Derry. And she wouldn't. She wouldn't give it to you're me. You're a woman from Derry. I know. And only took one pint. Oh, I'm Thran. Lair. Lies from hell. Lies. <laughs> Lies. I'm Thran. Do you know I don't even know what the word Thran means? No, I but I, I use it all the time. People, I don't know. You have the bulls notion what it is. No, Thran. Thran. Can me, men be Thran? Oh, I. I think so. I call them hey, Thran. Fuck, you, you don't know. Yeah. Uh, thran, I'm Jim period. I'm Thran. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think it means... No, I don't even know what Thran means. No, it does. It's a dairy thing, though, I think. Is it? Yeah. Do you know what Thran means? It's not Ulster Scott. Is it Ulster Scots? Is it? Lord has face. He's raging. <laughs> she started off as a mechanic. Do yeah, I started off as a wee boy, a wee chick. Yeah. <laughs> started, I used to do the milk and all when I was 13 years of like age. Like delivering the milk? Aye. Or milking no, cows, delivering milk? Well, yeah, I don't know. Oh, North Belfast, where would you get a fucking cow in the cave for the road? You, the you've got, yeah. The waterworks, you get a bang in the waterworks. <laughs> so I got my first drink, waterworks. Big bottle of triple vintage cider. Do you know, I used to drink a cider and it sickened me that much. I couldn't eat apples. For I mean years, 
And then one time we were doing panto, Paddy oh. Jenkins, on stage, and I had to eat an apple and talk to him. <laughs> spit it all over him, you know, uh, you know all that. And I make it. And, and, got a book. and he ate the apple. I mean, that's gone. Then you know, I put me back on cider, which is lovely. It was just a, it had sickened me for years and years. How much cider had you been drinking? I'd, and Well, just two flagons, and that was me out, gone, cold. Fuck, it was only eight. <laughs> 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 no, it wasn't. It was 29. And, uh, <laughs> but then when he ate the apple, but dude, I'd eat one apple every show. And we were doing 84 shows there. Aye, that's a lot of apples. That's fucking 84. Indeed. But then it settled me with the apples, you know. So what were we talking about before? Do you know what? But it's like, do you know whenever um, when people are pregnant, you have like things that you can't you go off? Like you like, like, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like aversions, like that's things. Right, you know what I mean? But when I was pregnant with my daughter, I could not look... <laughs> At him. At, at my husband for wanting to kill him. No, I couldn't look at like anything to do with DIY. <laughs> what? I know. It wasn't even a food thing. It was like if I, on my Instagram, if I seen anybody I doing saw. up their kitchen, Did I couldn't you? fucking look. It used to make me want to book if I seen people painting their house or like a before and after of a renovation of a bathroom or something, I would be like, huh. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the stupidest thing. But okay. even I had to unfollow anybody online who was doing up their house and refollow them after I had my daughter when I could bear to look at panelling. Imagine, imagine working at a being and oh, <laughs> getting pregnant. I'd had to leave. <laughs> I'd have been like, can you just put me out the back? <laughs> even then, there'd be even more <laughs> shit. on the roof of the oh, can't do anything. Do you know? <laughs> can't even look at a building. Jesus Christ, what I'm a, nuts. What a strange aversion to have. I literally was like, huh, like turned at the thought of, we put, <laughs> you were in the middle of buying a house when I was pregnant, but it was a do-your-upper. And we had to pull out of the sale of the house because I was like, Get uh, I swear we pulled out. And waited a year later and then bought a different house. So I was like, I cannot buy that house because it Craig needs Abbott. painted. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. I mean, what do you do when you're doing, oh, of course you're not pregnant when you're uh, so it's okay. Yeah. Well, I, when I bought the new house then, it was grand. But like I, I couldn't, like I, I literally could not look at anything, especially yeah. online, even just seeing photographs of people putting tiles down. or Something wrong with you. Like it was really you're, weird. No, you're not right. That w- it was a bizarre. Th- all the people were like, uh, "I can't eat." Like, there is any other, there any other your family students like that? All of them. Uh, well, I would say so. <laughs> I would say your family were delighted you moved to. <laughs> Fuck, that's harsh. That's what I'm sure. Christ, and I can't wait to get out of here. Uh, <laughs> I moved to Belfast first. I lived in Belfast for about eight years. I went to uni there, you see, and then and then I went and then I moved to Craig Avon. But that's what I'm saying to you before we started. Anytime somebody says to me, "Oh, where do you live now? You still in Derry?" and I'm like, "No, I'm in Craig Avon." Mm-hmm. And immediately people are like, "Why? Why? why? Mm-hmm. Like nobody? Mm-hmm. If I said anywhere else, if I was like, oh, "I live in Newcastle," I'll like, is there a centre of Craig Avon? Like a shopping centre? No, no, a centre of the area of Craig Avon. No, n- no. No, so might, there's a shopping centre. It, it might be called the centre, but there's no like main street. Doesn't even have a main street. I would it's say, embarrassing I, itself, I, isn't I, it? I would just say Lurgan. Just I'd say Lurgan. Yeah, but then is that not worse? Does that not sound worse? Lurgan's the butt of jokes. T- How often do you slag Lurgan? Well, it was. Uh, I got on the end of a two. His fat fell from Lurgan, and he was a bit of a drink problem, but um, he never pronounced his R's. I'm from Logan. Yeah. Oh, I spent two years, two years <laughs> in the morgue, in the morgue, knocking down the morgue. It's the morgue. The morgue? He was two years in the morgue. Logan. You don't, you don't know Log, Logan. <laughs> it sounds like he has a cold. Oh, gee, he said, well, he blocked it about 18 <laughs> pints on him. Right. No, all right. So... So, so hold on, this is a guy you know from Lurgan? No, no, it just knew him. Mad at me. Um. Introduced him, his mate introduced him to me. Right, okay. <laughs> Balloon. <laughs> um, is there any, like, what did you want to be as a child? Like, whenever you were away, is there, did you want to be an entertainer or was there something else? No, not at did all. Did you want to be a mechanic? No, I didn't want I, I didn't know how to screw a nut under a bolt. Right. My God, take me, I couldn't. My mum would just, she would come home one Friday and says, you have a, an interview for a job. I says, what? You have an interview for your job. I says, what about school? She says, you're leaving. What age were you? Fifteen. Right. 
<coughs> so um, I said, look, I, I can't just go, I have to tell the school. And our um, careers master, now, I was in A classes from 1A to 4A. Right. And I thought it was half decent. It wasn't daft. I wasn't delivering the milk or, you know, sweeping. Or, you know. So uh, it was Barney Gale. It was Barney had its own name, you know, North Belfast. You know. It was born again? No, it was born again. Oh, right. Uh, I thought you said the school again. was born again. And it's Irish for the windy gap. Right, okay. So obviously you're well up in your gear. So, um, <laughs> I can learn so I went back and all the go- fellows were saying, I'm going to leave to school. I'm, I'm leaving. It was about seven or eight of us, you know, and I said, well, go and see, what was this called? I mean, we dock. So we're going to see Mr. Doherty, our mm. careers master, and the boys were coming back out. And I says, well, he, uh, he made me stand. We'll do my GCEs and maybe get the Queens or do my all that. All that yeah. stuff. And they're all coming out. I'm staying. Then another one. I'm leaving. Blah, blah, blah. And I went in. I says, uh, Mr. Doherty, I'm leaving. Good luck. In one breath. That's what he said. Good luck. And I just, I don't have to even stop moving. I said, I was going to, I'm leaving. And just, don't, just did a U-turn? Uh, my God. You so, made a queer impression on him? Uh, absolutely. So, so what did you leave and go do? I was an apprentice motor mechanic. I was Aye. a message boy for about 18 months. Mm. Just to run about doing this. Peace and coffee, isn't it? Uh, cleaning toilets and sweeping carriage floors. and you know. But it was great. <coughs> and I was a mechanic for 20 odd years. It was great. Do you, do you think being a mechanic is one of them jobs where you can just like, like do you know any real bullshitter mechanics? Or do you think they're oh, all no. real honest? Oh, no, no, no. You get bullshitters like Lars. Aye. Oh, oh, Do you know oh. who are like, aye, well, fucking, that well, car needs five wheels. I know wheels. a place, fella, you know, I know one's, you know, left the car. Have you a family? Oh, are you lucky that you left that car into me? <laughs> you leave them to school? Oh, it's a story for. Oh, my God. He says, I've ordered this part, right? It's not been here for two days, right? So don't touch that car. Away you go, just look, look after your family. You're so lucky. Right. Hey, what's wrong with that bucket? Never even get fucking near it. I'll have a look. I can give you a bottom ball joint. Bucket Needs a new light. No. Yeah. <laughs> Needs a bulb change. Needs a bulb. <laughs> and, you know, but then you get old story forward and how it changes. And I had a, oh, that, whoa, oh, oh. see Aye. that? No in the head, chicken. Got a costume. That's you. the best one. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not going holidays this year, whoa. Yeah. All that other nonsense. You know? I've had so much car but trouble see, in my time. See, I could strip a car engine, you know, the, the old type of car, and gearbox and put them back together again. Try and get me to get Google on the phone. Aye. Listen, Impossible. we all have our skill sets. Impossible. Yeah. But Do then you, I couldn't I, strip an engine. No, indeed. Do you know what I mean? No. Obviously. Or DIY, because if you get pregnant, you look at an engine. Oh, can't even well, fucking put up a shelf. <laughs> Shelves are falling down around me and my house when I'm pregnant. I, I can't even. Did. No, I turn around, you, you, you drop the hammer, and he goes, Oh, Jesus, you're not pregnant, are you? <laughs> Aye, that's how he knows he can put him into a wonky shelf. He's all, Oh, fuck, she's pregnant. <laughs> she he throws, the he throws the trousers in the bed, you missed two periods. Oh, my Jesus <laughs> Christ, what's happening? Because <laughs> I have had. A shit ton of car trouble in my like I've went I yeah. I'm really bad I don't look after my cars very well even though I have no. all the intentions and like, no, the best, but then I just I don't know like the, just, I just find a good mechanic and just leave it in three times a year and you'll never get a big a that's big what bill, I never do a big bill get the oil and filter change that's the main thing oil and filter so right change. now there's a genie lamp on in my car what does that mean there's a genie lamp like a genie lamp with Couple of drips out there. It needs oil. That's oil, isn't it? Is that a problem? It's a fucking genie lamp. Oh, yes, it's a genie. Yes, Looks lucky, like you run out of oil, that's it. Everything seizes up. Aye, well, but see, when the light comes on, you're yeah. very, very low in oil. Listen, have you got it here? I'll have a look at it before it's I go. The other one, but I, that, that, my husband will be driving it today. I must text him and oh, say, we need text oil. Text him. Tell He's him. He's as simple he about it as me. Yeah, tell, you need tell oil. Tell him you've thrown up. Fuck if it's not the <laughs> oh, yeah, well, yeah. air. I don't want to put oil in it, you know, love. Yeah. So I can't tell, it. get oil in it right away. Yeah. Because the oil like comes on when it like there's literally nothing in it. I cannot look after cars, but I'm expected to look after a human. Do you know what I mean? Could be human. raised a child. A oh, child. Put a, oil in a car. That's what you call your child, a human. That's her name. Human. Fuck, <laughs> oh, get away with that. Please. My daughter's called Winter. 
right? Like after the season. Ach, in the start. name of Jesus Christ. What the fuck? It was called Born Again. <laughs> Born Again, you fucking idiot. Born Again. Jesus Winter. Jesus oh, Winter. Yeah. And do you know what? There are five other children. She will get fucking tortured. She soon. won't. Have you seen she the mental will. names now? Oh, I know that. But they're all superstars. Fuck you. You can't even fill the opera house. Fuck off. 94, 93%. <laughs> <laughs> well, you get sick when you see fucking somebody hammering a nail into a bit of wood. I'll go home You're and a balloon. You are. That's what you are. I'll go home and, and change you, your name tonight, will I? And I don't know where Diona came from. The fucking your dad couldn't put a F in front of once. Uh, he must have been dyslexic. Went to write Fiona. Yeah, he wrote he the, wrote the wrong fucking, name down. Put the wrong fucking. <laughs> the Do you wrong know why letter. I'm called Diona? Why? My dad is called D. Aye. For Dimian, because he's from Derry, so everyone's called D. And my ma's called Donna. And they put the names together. Yeah. Did, got, was that not the Donna? Well, that would be Diana. The Donna. No, you don't have to have the full second. Ah, if you do both full names, it'd be the well, Donna. Fucking hell, did you say it? The Donna. The Donna. They blended. I can call you shite and dumb a little. Fuck's sake, leave it at that. I never got a key ring with my name on it growing up. I no, got no, fuck no, all. No, they don't make them. No. They don't make them. I'm sure there's plenty of John ones. Oh, fuck I. Try and get McFedridge, my McFedridge ones. There's millions of them. Is there? <laughs> I doubt it. I do really <laughs> um, What is your remember when moment? Did you remember to think of a remember when moment? I <clears> do, <throat> and it's... Um, and every time I think about it, I go, my God, things are for you or they're not for you, you know? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I was doing the Kelly show, and it was this... Uh, Okay, Sorry to interrupt you, but we're both doing the new one. Are you doing, he's doing a new one. Aye, aye. I'm doing that as well. Are you doing the same one as me? We're doing, a, I think there's an episode about you and an episode about me and an oh. episode. Oh, right, very good. Say, here, John. Uh, listen. Not so shite now, is she? Uh, <laughs> I'm just wondering where I've gone to. <laughs> 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 uh, just doing for You're days, raging. You know, no, fucking, guess what? Anyway, <clears throat> this fellow was watching um, me doing the warm up and. Uh, at the end of the show, he says, uh, I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing a wee show over in England. He says, I'd love you to you know, to come over and be part of it. And I went, I know probably He said, I've left my, my number up the stairs in the office. Now, you don't forget you. And I said, no, not forget. I have the worst fucking memory mm. on God's earth. And see, when I think about it, you know, I just, I just look and it's... Um, I was watching him yesterday on television. He's starting his new show after he cancelled all the rest of them. Peter Kay. You're a liar. Not God take me. So he wanted you to come on tour with him? No. Or a li- Oh my God, the Phoenix the, the Phoenix. Fuck off, John. I swear to God. I swear to God. So he left <clears> his <throat> number within the BBC for you? No, on new TV. On new TV? And then you From just... the Kelly show, yeah. I forgot. Things that could have been, but I, I, I really believe that if it's for you, you'll get it. Do you know what I mean? That is. Oh, <laughs> you, you dick. Where would you have played in you Phoenix Nights? Dick, fuck, I, me, me. Or oh, he wanted you to be me. Maybe me behind the bar. I don't know. Or, or maybe he wanted you to be one of the bouncers. Something like that. No, well, I think it was the it was the character as well. Yeah. Because he loved he loved me talking the way he do. Yeah, because right, well, his mum. Well, maybe did you? She's, inf- she's he did, in the north. Well, he played a character then, where he was like his mum, influenced ah, by his mum. From that's right. I wonder did you influence that too? Well, you know, but anyway, that was me and Peter Kay. No, Peter Kay is coming to Belfast. Is he in I must, Belfast I in, in <coughs> February? So we could both go to his gig and hold up a massive sign. Does, could have me. Take it. me now. Who the fuck you think it's you? <laughs> I better go. Bring your saw with you. Yeah. Not on your fucking saw. We keep blowing groceries all over the fucking place. <laughs> yeah, who, that was my. Who is your uh, favorite comedian? Actually, um, I love, you know, uh, Cannonball, mm-hmm. and a, a, a dead panto, eventually with Cannonball. Did she? Twenty three years ago. No, it'll be. 24 years ago this Christmas. In the Opera House? In the Opera House. Oh, really? I didn't know and that. I love Bobby Ball. Always did. And, it, and he was like quite a good actor as well, mm-hmm. you know, at his, the end, end of his career. But, um, yeah, Tommy and Bobby. And I remember one time we were on this on stage and there these two shoots, you know, two 
two big slides yeah. to descent plates down. Right. Because we were working in the, this fucking factory or whatever it was. But Not on the had, stage? Yes, on stage. Oh, right. So the, the oh, yes, the, sorry, had, yes, it's part of the big, set. A big tarpaulin to protect yeah. the stage. Um, <clears throat> but we would go to one side, you know, and the slates would come down the other side and they would smash them all. Oh, very good. Then we'd come down the other way. So I had to do the same, right? And uh, I went over and uh, I got it the first time. Right. Six big plates. But they weren't um, they weren't fired up, right? So they were quite brittle. Right. right? That's what they wanted once they had yeah, the old yeah. smash it. So I went over and I got them. And, and uh, I got the slates and I went, ha, ha, no doubt. You know, I didn't drop them. I turned around and stuck my toe into a wee hole in the tarpaulin. I fell. My head hit the six plates. Smashed every one of them, and oh. my eyebrow opened up, and I just looked, and I went, I could see the blood coming down. I says, "What I have done for this place?" Jesus! I have drawn. My head was sort of half spinning. I went over and was a guard with the first aid urchin, getting it, putting neat seals on, you know, getting the Aye. blood stopped. And then I was back on, you know, three minutes later to do the next my next piece and. And you just had to do the rest of the uh, show with uh, a bloody face. Uh, fucking keep it in. That's what uh, the fucking yeah. keep it in. Do it every night. Back. Fuck you, I uh, tell yeah. on. So Fuck. do you know what? I broke my I, I looked side and finished it. As I was doing that come up the pros pain. I looked over at one side and then I looked at the other side. And Tommy Cannon was on his knees mm. passing himself out. Worth it. And Bobby Ball. It, the tears were tripping him. Yeah. He couldn't he couldn't talk. For laughing, two bastards. Was there was there, <coughs> was there a somewhere. part of you the next night that was like, should I? Should I? I what can I break in. now? No, no, don't walk in like that. Yeah, <laughs> like, like you're on the moon. Yeah, <laughs> I broke my toe in the Opera House stage in the did, middle of a show. Did, in the big stage? Yeah, in the middle of a show. How did you get on the big stage? Shut your mouth. Fuck. <laughs> then, then you broke it I was, and there's no you can't repair the toes you can't and you also have to do the rest of the show that's it it was a, it was in like the I'd say 20 minutes under the show oh, and I was geez. inside a sleeping bag but like like jumping across the stage in the sleeping right. bag my idea stupid and then fell over broke my toe and yelped but everyone thought it was funny and it was part of the thing. Keep it in. So I uh, uh, keep it in. Uh, so I just kept it up. And I actually did keep it in. Did a pretend fall then every uh, night because it was really funny. And then I was like, do you need, do you need to put on like a pretend corpse? Uh, it's like, oh, I, I fucking hate them. No, I know. Yeah, I know people yeah, that do a lot. Uh, corpse laugh. <laughs> you know, and I go, you know, to make it really fit. You know, if somebody does something wrong, ha 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 Dozen time, and normally it's with the English, you know, the English artists, and I go, mm. "No, if I forgot." Oh yeah, you know. have you forgot? And you go, <laughs> "It's you." English, <laughs> English. Yeah. And then I'd walk off. They come on. Yo, that was your fucking. Thing. Yeah, I know that. You know that. I don't fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> I think the worst thing though was if somebody forgets a line on stage and you try and help to cover them, it looks yeah. like you forgot yours. That's it. That's so you it. may as well not be the murder. Yeah, just look at them and go, fuck's sake, hello. <laughs> hello, say something. Jesus, how much years? I'm here 40 years. <laughs> hello. Um, <coughs> right, we're going to finish up now, but is there anything you'd like to plug? Of course, the Opera House. Yeah, Panto this year, you know, bad. What is the Panto this year? It's Cinderella. Cinderella. You don't have a sister, no? No. <laughs> no, it's Cinderella this year. I have a year. brother with long hair. Have you? Oh, no, he recently got a cut. Oh, we, uh, he could have done, we could have both been. Were you sick? Yeah. <laughs> um, no, just, just Panto. Uh, and we're doing the Happy Medium next year. I did the Happy Medium I don't know what the happy medium is. It's about uh, me losing my sister. And it's on our first anniversary that we're going to have a wee, like a wee bit of a seance for her. So I'm there for the first fucking nine pages of dialogue talking to my imaginary sister. Oh, your imaginary sister. So this is a play. Mm -hmm. And it's in the Opera House. Yeah. And who else is in it? Um, is it a serious play or a comedy? No, it's a comedy. Oh, I've never, he I've not heard of this. Well, it's all ghosties, and I've, I've done it twice, but Have you? you're supposed to be far too young. When we did it in the Millennium. So, and who else is on it with you? Do you know? I don't. Well, it's not. It's not confirmed. No. no. 
Mm. And when will that be in the Opera House? Um, maybe, well, be, maybe March or April. Very good. So not just, not just um, you're not on as May, are you? Well, May's the character. I'm oh, a wee woman. May's mm. in it. Yeah. Ah, very mm. good. Right, okay. So the happy medium and Sandrella at geowitch.co.uk is bringing yeah. out your tickets. Happy days. John, it's been an absolute pleasure chatting to you. No, Even though thank you. you slagged me many times. No, no, no. Thank God beat me to that. <laughs> Sick. Thank you Rough so much. or what? <laughs> when do you start rehearsals? Uh, about half ten. <laughs> <laughs> we start um, 20th of November, f- two weeks yesterday. That's not that long of a time to learn the whole show. Are you used to learning it that quickly? That's not very long. Two weeks? Twelve days. Is it? The script's in the house, I better just have a wee look at it. Have a wee look at it. Uh, even the first part where, because I'm the first one on stage, I'm the very good one. I came in on a star, 25 feet up. Are you? F- uh, on a hoist? I don't know, it's sort of like a, a wee, wee crane. I think it's, it's like a star, and there's a, there's a wee plank. Yeah. It's a wee DIY one. You'd be so <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> so, open. anyway, I'm on a wee plank about four inches. It's like a fucking parallel bar, and uh. I'm sitting on that, and one cheek, I'm hanging like that there. And I'm <laughs> fall. 25 feet every day before it to grow. That's a, that's a way <coughs> to ask of somebody. No, nah, indeed. Mm. But then again. You go with the money, as John. <laughs> go with the flow. Go with the flow. Right, thank you so much for coming nope. in today. It's been an absolute Total pleasure. Total pressure. You couldn't do us a favour. You couldn't take a top Can off you not open that? No, it's a There you go. <laughs> but You're a darling. Thank you for everything. Thank you. <laughs>